Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. What two words does this boy say every time his sister sneezes? Sneezing. Bless so, you. What do you have to say about that? About how much you want to stop? Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. You came back sneezing. Bless so, you. What do you have to say about that? About how much you want to stop? Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. If you're watching this with another person or your classmates and teacher, pause the video and compare your answers. He said, bless you, which is a common thing to say when somebody sneezes. When spoken together in connected speech, the words bless and you can sound like bless you, which can be confusing to English language learners because shu is a completely different word. So why do the sounds change like this? It's due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence, which is what happens when two separate sounds merge to form a new different sound. So here, Sometimes a final s sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word combine to make a sh sound at the boundary. So instead of bless you, you hear bless you, like the little boy said. Please note that this type of coalescence can also happen inside just one word like when the S and the U combine to form a sh sound in issue. However, since our focus is on connected speech, we're only looking at where this happens when the end of one word meets the beginning of another word. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds here, please see the link to the interactive phonemic chart in the information box below the video. Here are a few more examples. Number one, this year, this year. Number two, gas utility bill, gas utility bill. Number three, I miss you, I miss you. You might have noticed that in number two, the second word starts with the letter U, not the letter Y. That's because we're just looking at the sound y, not just a letter. So both the letters y and u can have a y sound. To help you hear this type of coalescence, I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10.
So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line will tell you the number of words in that phrase. Here we go. Number one, this university. This university. Number two, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Number three, a nice young man. A nice young man. Number four, exercise helps your heart. Exercise helps your heart. Number five, mom lets you play games. Mom lets you play games. Number six, did you pass your classes? Did you pass your classes? Number seven, he thinks you like football. He thinks you like football. Number eight, it takes your breath away. It takes your breath away. Number nine, this used to be my home. This used to be my home. Number 10, a sad movie makes you cry. A sad movie makes you cry. So again, if you're watching with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and replay parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. Number eight, it takes your breath away, is a saying meaning to amaze someone with awe, respect, or delight. We often use it to describe something beautiful in nature. Pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when other people use it. So please listen and repeat after me. Try to make the sh sound between the two words. Here we go. Number one, this university, this university. Number two, yes, you can, yes, you can. Number three, a nice young man, a nice young man. Number four, Exercise helps your heart. Exercise helps your heart. Number five, mom lets you play games. 
Mom lets you play games. Number six, did you pass your classes? Did you pass your classes? Number seven, he thinks you like football. He thinks you like football. Number eight, it takes your breath away. It takes your breath away. Number nine, this used to be my home. This used to be my home. Number 10, a sad movie makes you cry. A sad movie makes you cry. To review, sometimes a final s sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word fuse to a sh sound due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence. A final example is the less you know, the better, which is a saying used when someone doesn't want to give any information or they think that telling you something will be upsetting or risky. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a sh sound at the boundary of two words, the first with a final s and the second with an initial y, and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge, find an example of sh coalescence with a final s sound followed by an initial y sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.